currently 3.30, a little bit later in the day, and me and Joel are gonna go do an Ikea run because we just need like random things. We don't have garbage bins for the bathrooms. Oh, we need, we should get a compost bin for mm -hmm. under the sink. We need to figure out like our under the sink situation because we have like a small garbage, but it's like, we need to figure out where we're gonna bring our recycling and stuff. But yeah, we just kind of need to look around for that. We also need to get just like random things like a laundry hamper. And I have a whole list, honestly. Like I put a list on my notes app because I know that I'm gonna forget if I don't write it down right away. We need a bowl set, a lemon squeezer, hand soap, drain covers, just random things. And it would also be, I know this is not urgent, but like after we're done like the necessities, I also wanna like kind of do the spare bathroom. So I wanna get like a bath mat for it, shower curtain, but that is not a necessity. That'll be like the absolute last thing that we do. But anyways, things are getting done slowly but surely. I'm just so happy with the dining room chairs and I'm so excited for the rugs to come in. And then I ordered, here, let me show you guys actually. I ordered this from Wayfair. It's like a, I think it's called like a buffet or something. And we're gonna put this in one of the walls like on near kind of like the dining room table kind of near the kitchen just so it's like an extra storage and that wall that i'm talking about i'll show you guys when we get it but it's kind of like missing something so this will go perfect there so we can put a little bowl on top to like store our keys or something but once that's in once the rugs are in i feel like things will feel more complete in like the main floor and then as for the upstairs still have lots of work to do in my room <laughs> but it's getting there slowly We had the most successful home run literally ever. We didn't even expect to get this many things, but we just got a whole bunch of things that we didn't even know we needed. Like we originally went for like garbage cans, but we got so much and I'm so excited to give you guys a haul. But let's just start off with the Ikea haul. First off, we just got these garbage bins. So this one's gonna be for recycling and then the bottom one's gonna be for garbage and then this little one for compost. And hopefully this can all fit underneath the sink here just because as you can see it's very mishmash right now so we want to get this all nice and organized we really needed bowls because we only have like one big bowl a cooking bowl so we got this set and i love how colorful they are and they each come with a lid which is really nice to have so we got this bowl set and then we stumbled upon these placemats which are gonna look so good on the table. We got six of them, and I'll show you guys how they look in a minute. I love the shape of them, how they're like not even, you know what I mean? You'll see it better when I put it on the table, but they're so cute. We got toilet bowl cleaners because we needed them, and our toilets are already turning pink, and we didn't have cleaners, so we needed to get these ASAP. And then really random, but we got a lemon squeezer just because we didn't have one, and this is something I never even bought for our apartment, but I always intended to buy one, and I just never did, so now we got a lemon squeezer, which is nice. And then Joel just got a laundry hamper, so this is his. And then last thing we got from Ikea are these shoe racks. So we actually had these in our apartment as well, but in black. And these are like a dark kind of like sage green, which is really pretty. And this is how they assemble. And so what we're planning on doing is we're going to put them in this closet here. Because as you can see... Um, we need shoe racks. I put away my puffers already, so now we're just kind of missing a little shoe rack at the bottom. So I'm thinking that two of them side by side are going to fit perfectly here. So yeah. In terms of the placemat, this is how it looks on the table. Let me just, there's so much garbage on here. Ew, why are there socks? See, that's what comes with moving is nothing has a real place. So here's the placemat. I just love the color and the shape and I think they're so cute. But yeah, I'll show you guys like when we have a whole table set up how they all look in a bit. These didn't fit beside each other, but they did fit like this. And honestly, this kind of works out so we can have the vacuum here. And it's not that bad because it still holds the same amount of shoes. It's just this way, which isn't even a bad thing. So different than I expected, but it still works great. So I'm happy with them. And I love, I don't know if you guys can tell, 
but they're like a green and they're so pretty so here's a bit of a haul of what i got yesterday i didn't show you guys everything yet i'm so happy oh my gosh i just got so many good stuff i think i showed you guys the ikea stuff already yesterday but we really needed hand soap so we stopped off at walmart and we got this hand soap lavender and she butter and i think it's gonna smell really good so we'll fill those containers up asap and then here's where it gets exciting so we went to the store called umomo and they just have like the best like cute everything they have so many organizers and just so much in there like you can find anything and everything in that store but i love it so much so i got these two blue containers and they're so cute i don't know exactly what i'm going to use them for yet but they're definitely going to be somewhere in my office and then i got these three little organizers i'm always just looking for little you know organizers and i use them all the time and then i got these two bigger ones in brown they're just like that and they're pretty big and i just love how these three colors all go together i think it's so cute we got this shower um what's it called a drain cover just for our hair and i love the color this is kind of like an orangey pink and then i got this soap dispenser for our bathroom how cute is it i just couldn't pass it up it was only like a couple dollars and i'm in love with it like are you kidding me that is the cutest thing ever i picked up these chopsticks because i bought a pair of chopsticks from them and i love it them but i only have one so i decided to get five sets and they're all so cute i'm obsessed like for the kitchen it's just like a good addition just in case we have people over and we're eating some sort of things that require chopsticks because we only have one pair so these are perfect and then i got a couple dishes so i'm just gonna lay them out and then show you guys so here are the three dishes that i got like are you kidding look at how cute this blue flower dish is and then i got this one and these are all gonna go like in my bedroom or wherever in the house where you just need a little bowl for something like my jewelry or whatever and then this one oh my gosh it's kind of like a purplish blue and i am so in love with it um but yeah not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with these but probably like i said on my nightstand on my dresser just like somewhere where people can see them because they're just so cute but yeah that is the haul i'm obsessed with everything We just got a shipment from Ruggable and I'm so excited because we're going to replace our rugs right now. I'll show you guys before and after and I hope they look so good, which I know they will. So here's a before of the living room. As you guys saw, we didn't want to keep this rug because it's just like too white for the space. It doesn't bring any like texture. Also, it's just way too small. Like it keeps riding up and it doesn't fit under the couch properly. So we're going to do this one first. And yeah, so here's the before. currently on the way to ikea again i feel like we've been to ikea like five times this week but i am going to get a dresser for my room because i was originally gonna get one off wayfair and then i wanted to get one off facebook marketplace because the color from ikea that i wanted is out of stock so i was gonna get one off facebook marketplace because they had the color i wanted someone was selling the dresser but i didn't end up getting it just because we don't really have a car to transport the dresser in and 
it's just like really heavy for me to lift with joel and i just don't even think we'd be able to do it especially with this car like we'd have to get the van and it's gonna be this whole ordeal so i'd rather just not like after thinking about it so the dresser that i want is just like the six shore melm dresser they have it in stock in white i was originally gonna get like the wooden color but honestly i just want to get my room done and i just want it now and so i'm just gonna get the malm drawer dresser in white and even though it's like plain i'm gonna spice up the room in different ways so i'm gonna put like some posters on the wall and like get a cute carpet stuff like that where i can bring add color into the room without the furniture because originally i was like oh i don't want a white dresser because like everything's gonna be white in that room but I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? That just leaves me with like a clean base to like decorate with. So I'm not mad about it. I really just want to get my stuff put away because I feel like it's just been all over the place for the past like two weeks now. I just feel like you can't go wrong with Ikea and it's something in the future if I want to upgrade it, I can always just sell it so it's not that big of a deal either because Ikea furniture sells like that. So it's whatever. I'm just going to get it for now and then like I said, if I want to ever upgrade in the future, I totally can so it's not like a huge deal. But yeah joel's gonna build the dresser today i might help him if we have like enough screwdrivers but i'm just really excited to hopefully get my room somewhat of an order today so i can feel like my life is put together because moving you're just so out of whack but. so this is the rug that i'm thinking about getting for my room just because I feel like it's really dainty and cute and it's in the kids section, which is funny, but I honestly love it so much. And I think it'll just add a cute pop of pink to my room. And it's something that I can always change out if I get bored of it. And yeah, it's only $40. So I'm just gonna pick it up and see how we like it. So here's how the carpet turned out obviously we still need to put pillows on the couch but i am obsessed with the carpet i think it just ties in like the beige tone and it also matches our blanket right there i don't know guys i'm kind of obsessed with it let me know what you think of it down below these rugs that we just put on are from ruggable these rugs are also the best because you can throw them in the wash which is super cool but i will have a coupon code that i'll put on the screen right here if you guys want to shop ruggable and i will also leave a link to these rugs and their website down below but i'm so obsessed and i just think it really does fit the room but let me know your guys's opinion so so here's how the dining room turned out. I'm so obsessed with the rug, you guys. And this one's from Ruggable as well, which will be linked down below, of course. And me and Joel also got this console table thing um, just because this wall was really plain and empty. This is from Wayfair and I'm so in love with it. It's so cute and it just like fits perfectly on this wall. Like the dimensions are just so perfect. And I just feel like the colors like really tie in the living room here. I mean the dining room, but I love the placemats i think that they look so good as you can see here from this angle like the rug just really does tie everything in let me know if i should put like wall art here because i would be open to doing that i just don't know what i would put so let me know what you guys suggest obviously as for these windows we don't need anything on this side because there's windows but i don't know if i should be doing anything here so let me know if you guys have any suggestions yeah i love how everything turned out in this dining room finished building the dresser i actually really like it and it's such a good size for here so now i'm just going to start filling it with my clothes <laughs> back from my workout so that's why i'm in my workout clothes but i'm gonna close off this video in my next video it'll be the last moving vlog and i'm gonna show you guys our bedroom and then my room transformation and then i also want to do like the bathrooms like as you can see this bathroom is super plain so i kind of want to spice it up i'm also babysitting my dog right now so that's what you hear in the background this is my family's dog but so in the next moving vlog i'm going to be showing you guys all of that so there's more to come so this is the second to last video of this series 
And I'm also going to give you guys a cost breakdown in my last vlog of how much I spent moving out again. So let me know if you guys want to see that, if you're interested. I feel like that would be just super interesting for people who want to move out and want to know like how expensive it is because I feel like nobody talks about it. So stay tuned for the vlog that is to come. The last moving vlog, turn on your post notifications, go follow all my social medias, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.